Former President Jimmy Carter remains in hospice care in his Plains, Georgia home. For decades, the 98-year-old has had a profound impact on people in the U.S. and abroad. Madeline Rivera has more. If the, if the goal is worthy, move ahead even if there's a risk of failure. Those close to former President Jimmy Carter say he's used to tackling big problems. As a little-known Georgia governor, he announced his run for presidency, later taking his family and friends to campaign in Iowa and New Hampshire. He finished second at the Iowa caucuses, but used that as a stepping stone to gaining national recognition. The outcome helped put the Iowa caucuses on the map. If you notice, all candidates go to Iowa now. It's the launching place of every presidential campaign. And that is something that Jimmy Carter started. After leaving the White House, Carter made it his mission to fight neglected tropical diseases. Through his nonprofit, the Carter Center, his efforts provided treatments and nearly eradicated the parasitic illness, Guinea worm. Carter's friends credit his perseverance and commitment to helping others to his upbringing in Plains, Georgia. That's where he and his wife Rosalind's work will live on, through places like the Boys and Girls Club. It serves more than a dozen children in the area and is located just down the street from the Carter's home. He is a great man who, whose legend will live forever, uh, way beyond what he did or accomplished in the White House.